No one was here to commentate the sick hype set, so I gotta be here. All right, we got out of touch with Joker, which is a character Warren's actually really familiar with. Uh, he plays him on as a Wi-Fi warrior with me, so he should be keen to most of the tricks that out of touch is probably gonna be looking for here. But we'll see. Um, he has about half of his R centimeter left. Oh my god! I'm always scared that that counter is gonna kill. It feels like a free patch Smash Four Corin counter. Nice dodge on that F smash. I actually thought he was going to run into that. And then I remembered you can't run through people anymore. Okay. Rebel's Guard. Oh, my God. He was going for that counter again, but ended up with Rebel's Guard. Rebel's Guard. Okay. That's probably the most busted thing about Joker is Rebel's Guard. But, you know, this character blows. I, I, don't, I don't buy the hype. Leo's cool. Joker's whatever. Uh, let's see. So... Kind of just feeling each other out. Yeah, Out of Touch was definitely just waiting to get our, our Sen back online because it does accumulate over time. So the longer he was just sitting there, the more chance he has to kill Greninja, especially at 165. I don't know what that character was. I'm going to be entirely honest. Greninja's hip uh, recovery does not have a hitbox. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But all right. Okay, no more... Wow, already? No more Arsene? Okay. Oh, nice down smash to punish the grab. That's going to be his first character. Who's he going in next? Uh, is that DDD or Mega Man? Yeah, Mega Man. All right, so we got the Mega Man on board. Greninja at 170 will probably... Yeah, I was going to say, if he DIs poorly, he's probably going to die to a throw. But I thought he was going to go for up throw. Scissors will do it, too. So now we got the Incineroar. Oh, God. Oh, okay, we got the Bowser gonna say Incineroar seems like hell in this matchup just because lemons are big annoying but Bowser's out here holding his own I mean 50% on Bowser really is not a whole lot unless he's playing against Bowser or Ganon but we don't talk about Ganon uh, so Warren's way back into this is probably a few grabs he needs to figure out how to get in on Mega Man because that's going to be a problem that Incineroar is also going to struggle with. I feel like if any character was going to get in on Mega Man, it was definitely going to be Greninja. Uh, but Greninja's gone. So we have two heavies playing against Mega Man. I don't think it's favorable. Yeah, he that was unsafe as hell. If he went for a down B, he could have gotten a shield break. But all right. So this is the hard part. Uh, Incineroar versus Mega Man. This is not fun. Uh, I don't recommend it for any of you at home. I, I don't recommend this matchup. This is like what you do to get your friends to quit the game, is you play Mega Man against their day one Incineroar, because they they won't know what to do. And it's kind of fucked up of you to do that. Like, if you do that, you're a bad friend. I just want to let you know. Okay. 
Yeah, and he, he's literally just controlling one side of the stage and just sitting on it, just tacking up damage every now and then. It's, um... Yeah, this is the matchup, ladies and gents. Th th this is it. This is, this is what we're going to be looking at for the next three minutes. I think Warren's actually going to get timed out. Oh my god, okay. I, I was expecting some big counterplay to that, but it's Mega Man. You know, as lame as the play is, this is kind of how you have to play against Incineroar. I actually really don't blame out of touch for playing like this. I think this is definitely optimal. Uh, especially if you're going for that, you know, sick timeout. Because his next character is what? Bayo? Ryu? I don't know. I haven't been watching. But that that's also going to be, you know, you're going to want to have a lot of kill setups against Incineroar. And those two have really good high percent kills. So I think Incineroar is just going to, yeah, get camped out. Uh, oh, that's Richter. Oh, what the fuck? Why? Who allowed this? This is like Counterpick City. Except for Joker, but Joker, you know. You have Arsene. Alright, so this is a pretty brutal counter matchup to Incineroar. Uh, Incineroar's win conditions are Nair offstage, and that's about it. I, I don't see him killing the Belmont in a cheesy way unless he gimps his recovery. Or he stacks up that rage really hard. Which he can do. Incineroar def definitely has the capacity to do that, especially with all the slow moving projectiles. I just feel like out of touch isn't going to get grabbed. But I could be wrong. Okay, that was a 26% dash attack. I don't really want to talk about it. That's not be out of shield. That heavy. Okay, nice axe dodge. All right, so Richter has a forward throw. Oh, my God. That will kill at around this percent. Oh, is that the Nair? Oh, my God. What a what a play. Yeah, that was basically what he had to do was gimp him or revenge him. Oh, yeah. Next character is Richter. Okay. Good to know. Now I know their actual layout. So this is going to be uh, free to commentate. So Warren goes up 1-0. All right. So, if I'm out of touch, I would want to go to Big Battlefield. But uh, since that's not legal, I guess the next best thing would probably be Smashville. Or, yeah, Smashville or Battlefield. Um, so I wonder if he's gonna stick with the same characters. I mean, he had a really solid game there going in, but he just. Um, he just fell apart there at the end. He he did not wall out Incineroar hard enough. And then there was a lot of play where he was rolling around Incineroar and trying to be, you know, kind of smooth on him. And you, you can't go for up B out of shield against Incineroar. Being in shield against Incineroar means that you are not winning. <laughs> uh, you have to be throwing hitboxes almost at all times to be doing well against that character. But we got the Bowser into the Richter for first so I think this is pretty good for Richter but as proven last game Warren doesn't really care about counterpick matchups um, Bowser's ability to gimp him off stage are gonna be a little bit less yeah this combo game and how much damage he's gonna do he could probably raw kill him pretty early especially if he keeps going for up B out of shield I'm going to keep harping on it because it's not a good option right now. Um, oh, oh, is that the Gimp? Is he dead? Oh, that's brutal. That was, that was quick. So, okay, so then we got the Joker. So this is a tough matchup for Bowser. Uh, I played this against Warren, and maybe he just knows the both of the characters better than I do. But god damn, this matchup's horrendous. Okay, he definitely just knows the characters better than I do because he is just blowing away this Joker. He, okay, he could have let that Bowser go and just taken it up 2-0, but I, I see he's a man of style himself. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I definitely would have just gone for the trade and just let it be. But that's okay, we've got the Greninja coming in. Greninja made pretty handy work of uh, Joker last time. I recall a certain dash attack to up smash or down tilt to up smash. So, he's definitely at kill percent. Question is, how does he get this kill? 
I don't think up is gonna do it quite yet. I don't think up throw will do it. I think fair might do it. The biggest issue and what he wants to watch out for is that our send does not come back. If our send comes back for round two, that's a goddamn tragedy. Um, and that's, okay. So out of touch has to bring this back, but Mega Man I think is the character he was playing the strongest with, especially around Incineroar. So if he can just, if he can lock up this kill on Greninja, even if he has a lot of percent, I think he knows the Incineroar matchup really well and he won't fall victim to any cheese because he wasn't even really letting uh, Warren play Incineroar. So we'll see how he does. I think um, I think we're in a strong show, in for a strong showing here from Out of Touch. He's either gonna get completely janked or he's gonna make this a long match. Um, okay, is he gonna roll? Nope. He does not know about the Gimmer Tech where you get hit on shield 10 times. If you get hit on shield 10 times and you can't move, then you get a free frame one roll out of shield. And it lets you get through crazy stuff like multi-jabs on shield. Uh, I think it's a really inventive mechanic and I, I wanna thank Sakurai because I hate a lot of jabs in this game. All right, so this is what I was talking about where Mega Man seems to be his strongest character against Incineroar. Uh, this man is already at 51. So, the defining part of this matchup is the fact that Incineroar should be let play as little as possible. If, if Out of Touch lets Incineroar play the game, then he's losing. Oh, what did he do that for? Okay. Okay. And that, that's going to be what costs him, if anything. Oh, my God. Yeah, is his reliance on those heavy kill moves to just slam him around. I think that's a... Um, I think he gets very impatient because Incineroar is very scary. Um, so that's the set. It's best of three, right? Best of three and then it's reset. Oh, okay. So, this is Grand's? This is Grand's? Okay. Alright, so... God damn it, I accidentally opened up the clips again. So... She's over by that couch chair over there. It's on the other side. Oh, over there. Yeah, yeah, she's doing okay. I checked in on her not too long ago. How are you? Yeah, I feel it too. It's rough. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. All right, so I wonder if he's gonna stick with the same team layout. I wonder if he's gonna switch things around because the character that's doing the least work is that Joker, but all right, maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe he's adapted in some way, so we'll see. So, oh yeah, he had that matchup laid out real quick. All right, so Richter first against the Bowser. So we're doing the run back. Uh, Richter died at 40, I wanna say, 50 last time. So that's gonna be, what he has to watch out for is just getting gimped early like that because that lets Bowser just do whatever he wants. When he has a lead, it doesn't really matter. Okay, nice up B out of shield. First time I've seen it work so far, but again, if he's changed and adapted, I, I think this is uh, I think this is the start of a, oh my God. This is the start of a new man. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a zero to death. Is he really gonna? Zero, zero. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Warren took it 2-0. All right. Yeah, this is a new. This is a new man. This Richter is new. Uh, is that dead? Oh, uh, he could have definitely gone for a smash attack there. It's a bit of a shame that he didn't pick that up, but I think it's okay. I think uh, just playing comfortable, playing patiently is what I've been saying he needs to do, especially in these high stakes kill situations. Because what happens is he gets too antsy and then he goes for something risky, like the uppies out of shield or Mega Man up tilt or that or forward smash, right? And so when he stops playing patient is the second he starts losing to these big heavies. As soon as he gets impatient, oh, that should be a kill. All right, well, it's Bowser, I forgot. Oh my, okay, wow. But as I was saying, in these, uh, in these high stakes kill situations, 
he tends to get really impatient and then it kind of blows his lead, right? Because he goes for these high stakes kill moves like Mega Man up tilt or Richter up B. And then he just gets punished because these huge characters just hit him at 40 or 50 and then he's kind of done. Uh, okay, I'm not sure about the spot dodge there. And that's another thing I was talking about was the up B. Thankfully, Warren didn't punish it, but he needs to start doing that if he's going to not get overlapped here. I think he might get overlapped in percent. Okay, nice back air. No gimp on the recovery, but having Richter at the ledge is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, okay. Nice parry. Even if it's just for style, nice parry. Oh, that up B hit him. That's so sad. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that string. I was scared for him. Okay, he's going to go for the, yeah, let's re-grab into a roll. Ooh, I would have gone for back throw. Because up throw is definitely not going to kill at this percent. Because Richter is a heavy. That counter, wow. And he's still a... Oh, my God. That first hit. All right. So the goal here with Joker is to kill him before he gets our set. If he gets Arsene, then that's a scary situation to be put in if you're uh, Warren right now. Especially because you still have to deal with Mega Man next. Um, I think that'll be a very tricky situation to deal with. So if I'm... Okay. Nice shield on that. I know it's weird to say stuff like nice shield on that F smash thrown in neutral. But this game sometimes, man... Really, I would have gotten hit by that, and I would have been so upset. All right, our send's coming up soon, so I'm I'm not feeling this. I, I'm not really feeling this. Uh, if I'm Warren right now, I'm a little scared, and I don't want to get zoned because our send's gonna pop up. Yeah. Oh my God, he double countered. All right. I'm glad that they're both still playing patiently, even if Arsene is out. Just because that's how you're supposed to play around Arsene, is just patiently ticking down the meter. Unless he's in disadvantage, in which case you weigh on him. Okay. Wow. Uh, this is tough. This is a tight situation. No more Arsene. Which is good for... Oh my god, good for Warren. And he just gets that F smash on the Rebels guard. Again, out of touch, just a little too desperate for these kill scenarios. Yeah. Anyways, end of the first game right here. Very tense. Warren's got a character in the background. Out of touch. Got a lot to make up here. Oh, and he gets the jab block. Hype. Great 24 from Septile. 329. Changes name to Septile 24%. Okay. The Leaf's coming out. Super effective against Greninja. Ha ha. All right, okay, ooh. I want to see more pellets, but he gets the bear. No pellets needed, no nares. And we got Incineroar the main coming out. Character's able to take it earlier, I'm sure, against his other characters. And great edge guarding coming out. Oh no, not like this. That's just super unfortunate. I do not like to see that. No one does. It's Warren going one up, up 1-0 in the set though. Last set of the night for squad strike. Hopefully we get some singles on stream, sorry y'all kind of hectic we need more setups but uh here we are out here trying to get grand final stream hopefully warren can play his round two let's go 